Guys, I have a really great story for you today. I'm with my buddy Scott. We're standing in front of a Matt Sura. We're gonna talk about a company called Ultra Machining Company here in Minnesota who bought their first Matt Sura machine in the early 80s. You wanna talk about a love for a company, a dedication to a product, and the growth through the years to have a dozen or so of them now, it's really impressive. And what's most impressive about it to me is this company actually started in 1968 and they have about 65 different machines now and they're expanding to another building. So the growth here is incredible. And what's most important I think to convey today, Scott, is gonna be the need for precision and why Matt Sura really helps you with that. And also the need to be able to take your highest quality employees and allow them to multitask instead of just being on a machine sitting all day. So Scott, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. All right, you're very welcome, Tony. So thank you. You've had your first Matt Sura, and I know you haven't been here since 1968. You're far too young for that, but You've been here for over a decade now. You've seen the growth of the company and you know that Matt Sir was first invested in the 80s and now you have automated cells and a dozen of these around the shop. What are some of the reasons why you went with the MX series from Matt Sir? Um, we've experimented with several different platforms uh, beginning with the older Matt Sirs and uh, re most recently we've um, kind of graduated into the MX520 platform. It's a little larger platform and it suits a lot of the work we do very well. The precision, accuracy, and rigidity are super important to us and it delivers on all counts. But now we're starting to look at expanding and growing into a new facility. And uh, we have an opportunity to kind of have the Greenfield approach where everything is brand new moving into there. We have no constraints. So coming out of the gate, what we really wanted to do was dial into a platform that really nails us on our core competency, which is basically parts about the size of my fist but also we want to minimize the footprint of the equipment to allow some greater density in the machine floor. And also, to speak about density, um, we get increased density of the part mix or the quantity of parts we can put on the machine. So what we're looking at doing with the MX330 platform is increasing the revenue per square foot to its maximum with a smaller footprint machine. We love the MX330 because it's configured in such a way where you can put your, um, your, your chip conveyors and your, um, your coolant um, um, service areas all within the square of the machine tool. And it's about 25-30% smaller footprint than other machines we've seen thus far. Very well said, Scott. And I know that real estate's important. We got the pallet change option here, which allows you to do more. Obviously, we're filming right now. The machine is running, so your operators don't always have to be here. But I want to dive into how important precision is here at Ultra. I know that you guys make some really complex five-axis parts with different points of the part that have to be, I mean, really, really spot on, right? How important is precision to you guys here? Oh, uh, precision is the ultimate thing. Uh, UMC prides ourselves and our, our, our company motto is going beyond others and we are, consider ourselves innovators in transforming manufacturing. And I mean, this is a great tool for us, but ultimately everything we do is driven by precision. Um, we work in a complex, highly regulated industry for medical and aerospace and defense work. And we often find ourselves with incredible challenges, um, maybe profiles of 1,000th tolerance. Um, we have intersecting holes at compound angles and in, in, uh, just a myriad of different configurations. And when you take a, a part of that complexity and have a machine tool where I can not just put one tool on there and machine it, but put uh, two, three, four parts on it and machine all those and know that when I come in the next morning after this thing runs for 10 hours straight and I'm going to get eight, four, six parts or 10 pallets of work, I mean, it's, it's a gold standard. You're absolutely right. And a lot of us in the beginning don't truly understand the importance of what it means to be able to walk away from the machine and know that when you come back to it, you're going to have a good part with that finish you want, with that precision you want, with those holes in the right locations. Because how many times previously have we stepped away from something and come back and go, oh man, of these 10 parts I just ran on my pallet changer, four of them were scrapped. And that's far worse than having a person even standing on a machine is to lose parts. But the Matt Sure gives you that precision that you want and that confidence to walk away and allow 
your quality employees to run more than one machine or multiple machines. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, when we first brought this MX330 here on the floor, um, we put ourselves, uh, gave ourselves a challenge um, to be able to run 10 pallets of parts or 10 parts um, lights out. It was a complex um, cervical um, plate and we used to run it one off and almost 100% inspect it. And by God, I'll tell you, the team was very nervous about letting 10 of them go loose. They didn't want to be responsible for the scrap, but ultimately what happened is this machine put all 10 parts out good, but we increased our capability, reduced our inspection frequencies just by putting on this platform. And I don't have the Excel spreadsheet in front of me or your fantastic ERP system or your data metric system in front of me, but everything you just said kind of just adds up to money, doesn't it? When you're talking about pallet change, being able to walk away, precision, less CMM time, you know, operators being able to run multiple, each of these is just added to the profitability that goes into the company, which allows you to grow and expand like Ultra is doing at an incredible rate right now. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, our goal, especially with the opportunity to move into a brand new building and kind of reinvent ourselves, allows us to reinvent kind of our processes, um, define our machinery lines, and, and basically just center on one machine type tool to propel us into the next, uh, the next uh, decade or so. So Scott, you brought up something off camera that I really want to bring on camera because we're all talking about in our industry right now, how are we going to automate things, right? Oh, yeah. But you actually compared the Matt Sura as automation in a can, I believe is what you called it, or something to that point, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, well, it's kind of just an affectionate reference because I really appreciate the comp, you know, the, the capabilities of the machine tool. And I like to call it automation in a can because I don't have to go out and I buy a robot. I mean, I automatically got a big tool magazine, so I automatically have lights out capability. I have a large tool magazine. I have a large pallet pool. I just need to bring in the person with the right skill set to literally turn this thing into, what, 85% uptime? Um, is it absolutely possible with this machine tool? Uptime, uptime, uptime. Is that not a word that we say all the time something we're all trying to reach right is yeah. keeping those spindles going and and having this automated system ready to go where you can set up five different jobs six different jobs ten of the same jobs whatever it might be that's what's allowing us to create that success and i know that's happened with you as well what i would like to talk about real quick is back in my day of machining a decade or so ago when I was programming machines, Scott, whether you believe it or not, I did use to program machines. Um, I used to try and turn these things up and get parts done as quickly as possible. Well, when I did that, if I didn't pay attention to my feeds and speeds, I would overcompensate or overrun a toolpath and then have to come back to it, and my parts would actually be messed up. However, on this Matt Sura, something that's done internally within the software and some of the help that you guys get from Matt Sura themselves and your partners over at Productivity allows you to increase your feed rates and decrease your cycle times without losing that precision, which is really important, I understand. Yeah, it is very important. Uh, we've experienced uh, you know, having the ability to maintain true cutter pass on several machine tools, certainly older pieces of equipment, but this new Matt Sura is just extraordinary. This has a lot of options in the control where I can actually clamp tool pass to a um, to a tighter tolerance and it will automatically adjust acceleration and deceleration in order to maintain these paths. Um, so you can really come in and fine tune particular um, part processes or programs to optimize just every second you can out of that, out of this machine. Yeah, it's so very important and you guys have been practitioners, let's say, of the journey along with Matt and Sarah, starting in the early 80s, all through now. It's obviously something that's helped you generate continued success, and we know that. We've talked about the precision, how important the rigidity is, which we haven't touched on really, but that leads to the better finishes and cycle times. Everything the world knows about the importance of rigidity, but how important is the service and support that you've received through productivity, through Matt Sura, through the years since you've been here on all of these projects? Well, uh, and service and support, that's something that I'm very passionate about. That is one of my responsibilities at UMC is to maintain the, the equipment. And uh, from my experience in the company, over the, my experience holding this role, the Matt Sura line has been one of the most reliable. Um, 
it's, we have a great partner in uh, productivity and Matsura out of St. Paul. I mean, they have all the critical spares we can imagine stocked within. And in our case, we're fortunate only 40 miles away. So we have a great service and support center here. And when we start thinking about when we're, what's our next machine line we want to put out into a, the new building, um, service and support, and, and the speed to the service, point of service is number one on our list. You guys have a machine here from 1998 that is yep. still running. It's the last green machine you have. But also, I believe that you've invested in a few more going into your new building that'll be coming soon. And why did you decide to continue with Matt Sura moving into the future? Well, I think uh, the service and support, the great sales team we have, and our partnership with uh, Matt Sura, which has gone on for since, what, the, the 80s. So uh, we have a well-established well relationship. Um, Matt Sura has established itself as uh, the perfect machine that fits one of our core competencies in the, in the five-axis complex machining and milling um, um, arena. Um, our customers like what we do. They like our pricing coming out of the MX330. Um, moving into the next building, um, we have three more machines that are slated to come in and be our first uh, equipment line that we push out into the new building. And we're going to kind of jump into this, guys, because I think it's an important way to close this out. We talked about the new building just now. We talked about three more Matsuras going in there. We talked about the importance of precision in the Matsura itself. But the importance at UMC, or Ultra Machining Company, about that precision even goes so far as, Scott, I would love for you to share a little bit about the floor and the air and the building itself, because not just precision in the machine, what you require from Matt Sir, but in the new building, you've gone above and beyond to make sure everything is at its highest quality. Yeah, that, that, it's very correct. It's very important for us to have the perfect manufacturing atmosphere. We are only looking to make precision parts. That is our core competency, close tolerance precision parts. And everything starts with the building itself. Um, the building and the machines and the processes are literally married. So what we've done there is we've created an atmosphere. We've got a temperature controlled environment, a plus or minus two degrees. We've put in a new type of floor, uh, it's a new technology that uh, is actually seamless. It's uh, steel reinforced, it has vibration dampening properties, it allows us to um, place our inspection and equipment nearby. Oh, geez. We have autonomous fluid delivery systems being built up in, in the rafters, dropping down, feeding our machines with autonomous fill stations. So we're all about automating everything. We're all, uh, we want to automate the building as well as our process. Again, people are valuable. Our machinists are talented. We need to put them where they're really needed. And they move on, they set up a machine like the MX330, they move on to the next best thing, and it just runs by itself. Scott, I just want to say that your passion is absolutely infectious. I know that what you do is important to yourself, important to your local community. You are the largest machine shop in this region. For those of you watching, this company started in 1968 in a garage, and I am now standing in a 75,000 square foot building. They're building a second building. They started with Matt Sura in the 80s based on precision and wanting to automate their entire processes. And we're now 40 years later. They still have one of the old green machines still running like a champ. It's really one of those testimonials that's powerful. I hope it connects with you like it connected with me as well so you guys know what Matt Sura can do for you just like it's done for Scott at Ultra. Scott, thank you so much for sharing this story with our global audience at MTD. You did an amazing job.